So if you, if in your space, if you want to organize it, it takes energy, right? Yeah. You got to put your mind to it, spend 30 minutes um, uh, piling the papers uh, correctly. It's a general principle to go from chaos to order. You need energy. So where does this energy come from? Um, we found in experiments that it comes from light. Mm -hmm. um, in, in a way, the, the, the way plants um, um, you use light in, in photosynthesis. And, but in this case, um, the light we found in experiments is infrared light. So that means, you know, wavelengths um, that are not visible to the naked eye, just the wavelengths just longer, a little bit longer than the red light, which is the longest wavelength that we can see. Just beyond that, infrared uh, it builds it. It builds it like gangbusters. Uh, we, we used, we used um, in our experiments uh, uh, an LED, light-emitting diode, with very weak infrared light. And we could build the EZ, we could increase the size by a factor of 10 times mm. how powerful it is. So just a little bit of infrared light is, is enough to do it. And so um, to build water in your, in your body, um, infrared light is useful. And where, so where does infrared light come from? Well, in, in your Airbnb, if we turn that off, all the lights uh, and I came with my infrared camera, which is just like any other camera, except the sensor is sensor to infrared rather than visible light. Um, I'd, I'd get a perfect image of you, your beard, the little gray spots on the sides, your microphone and the picture on the wall, et cetera, et cetera. So no, no problem. It's all around us and also, since infrared is roughly equivalent, not exactly the same as heat, um, the metabolism that you're generating inside your your body is also giving rise to to that. So, so there's plenty of infrared both outside and inside when in, in terms of um, um, of you and and this is necessary. Uh, this kind this kind of energy. So one way um, long introduction is walk out in the sun, and where I live in Seattle, in the winter time ain't much sun, um, <laughs> lots of clouds um, in the winter. It's kind of gray and some people get depressed. However, you walk out in the sun and feel good. Um, you know, the sun will just peep through a hole in the clouds and, and suddenly you feel better. And, and this is pretty universal. And of course, the, the, the explanation is um, it must be some psychological effect um, and that that's reasonable and probable, but there's another um, that is the infrared from the sun, roughly half of the radiation from the sun is in the infrared wavelength. That's why it feels warm. Um, see, so that penetrates your, your skull, for example, into your brain, and, and it should, if theory is right, it should build easy water in the neurons in your brain, and you return to your default situation, which is feeling good instead of depressed. We don't get born feeling depressed. Um, so, so that's the first thing you can do um, is uh, go out in the sun.